सिलेबस गिवन इन द नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ फेनी एग्जाम इज ऑलवेज ऑलवेज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड आरबीआई ग्रेड बी इज नो एक्सेप्शन टू दिस सो आई एम नॉट हेयर टू डिस्कस द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ सिलेबस सिलेबस येस इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बट रेदर वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हेयर टूडे इज दैट वेदर वी शुड स्टिक ओनली टू द सिलेबस और रेदर we should go out and read something out of the syllabus whether it is required whether questions are asked from the topics which are out of syllabus so our discussion is going to be on those lines and before that i would like to define the syllabus for you in phase 1 qre current affairs no syllabus is defined in phase 2 for descriptive english again just the pattern is defined no syllabus is defined so it boils down to that the syllabus is defined only for fm and esi right in the official notification which is released by rbi grade b now why i am being encouraged to discuss this right the reason behind this that earlier the syllabus used to be very holistic they used to just mention motivation leadership communication like that but now what has happened is they have specifically mentioned theories in the syllabus for example if you see under content theories they have mentioned Maslow, Elderfer, Bechtel, and Herzberg. Only four theories here. Then under process theories, they mentioned Adams, Virum's expectancy theory. Only two theories. Again, under process theories. Similarly, in leadership, they have mentioned certain theories like trait, behavioral, contingency, charismatic, transactional, and transformational leadership. So what it is doing is it is making people believe that they have to read only these theories under motivation theories or leadership theories like that or in other parts of the syllabus this is i am talking about management but i want to make my discussion more holistic so that we we not only discuss about management rather we discuss about finance and esi also but this is just an example i want to give it to you now if we if we try to understand the context under process theories they have mentioned only two two theories adams and vroom's expectancy theory but there are other theories there is a goal setting theory right there is a self efficacy theory there is a self determination theory all those theories are again standard they are very very important for your exam at least this is what i think and this is what i want to tell you and even if i move to leadership theories they have mentioned certain theories but then if you see fieldless contingency theory is not there Hershey and Blanchard situational theory, which is a very common theory, is taught across every MBA course, right? So, Fiedler's contingency theory, Hershey and Blanchard uh, situational theory, then Robert House path goal theory. How can we forget that? So, you can see there are a lot of theories which are not included here. Does that mean we have to leave them? Again, there cannot be a simple answer, yes and no. That leave them or do not leave them. It's very difficult to say, right? It only depends upon the exam setter whether he would put questions from those theories or not but let us try to understand by analyzing the past year questions and then we will try to have a final verdict on that now i tried to analyze the previous year questions from finance and management and esi i have certain examples this is not a complete list i have certain examples for example in 2016 there was a question asked from time value of money time value of money has never been in syllabus of rbi then in 2016 there was a question asked on mutual funds on nav now this can be related to equity markets which are in your syllabus like primary and secondary equity markets but again nonetheless mutual fund is a separate topic then in 2017 there has been a question on ratios now ratios again not directly part of syllabus i mean there is no topic where i would say that ratios is part of this topic if i try to put ratios is uh, in any any part of your syllabus it's it's not possible right 2017 a question on capital budgeting cost of capital 2018 again a question on ratios 2018 management there was a question on inventory management economic order quantity and 2019 there was a question on options so you can see that starting 2016 each year there have been questions from topics which were not part of syllabus and if you are thinking that options is part of syllabus it was included in 2021 not till 2019 until that time the syllabus was derivatives futures forwards and swaps right so there are pretty lot of examples where we could see that yes 
questions have been asked from the topics which are not given in the syllabus but then again these topics some of them are very basic i mean you can't study finance if you don't know time value of money mutual funds i mean again a core of equity markets ratios uh, i mean if i try to relate it if you're studying about equity markets debt markets i mean you're supposed to analyze the balance sheet of the companies right and you cannot do that if you don't know ratios capital budgeting cost of capital little bit of advanced topics but still they have been asked ratios again options very closely related to derivatives but it was not part of syllabus at that time right so these are just some examples there have been some other instances too and i even analyzed the recent uh, a descriptive paper for fm and esi in fm uh, all the all the questions were asked from the syllabus uh, but in esi there have been question on recommendations of 15th finance commission now yes this could have been from current affairs but but then finance commission or uh, frbm these are separate topics like right uh, uh, disinvestment all these are separate topics now again these are core topics of economics if you are studying uh, economics and you are not studying about finance commission i would believe that you are not doing something end to end right so again here is an example that in economics subjective paper also there have been question on finance commission which is not directly given in your syllabus so what i am trying to say here what i am trying to say am i trying to say that there are a lot of questions which are out of syllabus no right i would say that 90% paper each year is from the syllabus so syllabus should be given ultimate importance the first priority but if you are a serious aspirant you have started earlier you have finished your syllabus and you have time to look out to do something extra that that, that can give you an edge i think then you should look towards these topics now ironically in 2021 there were no question out of the syllabus in fm objective or esi objective neither any question out of the syllabus in fm descriptive only this question if i could say is out of the syllabus in esi descriptive no question in fm descriptive right so ironically in 2021 there was no question that makes us believe ke yaar nahi ab sirf syllabus ko hi stick karna hai but i can assure you there would be some surprises next year because that has been the tendency if you see i mean so many years they have been question, they have been asking questions out of the syllabus so why would they stop why would they stop right and last year i think the pattern had changed so they thought that okay let's let's go with the flow of the syllabus but over a period of time when this will become predictable and the only way that will remain with them is to uh, to surprise is, uh, to surprise you is to put some questions which are not directly from the topics which are mentioned in the syllabus right so what i recommend is based upon this that yes syllabus is important first priority syllabus but after that if you get time at least do these three things in management do not just constrain yourself to read the theories which are given in the syllabus motivation pad rahe hain to sirf adams aur vrooms mat padhiye right aur bhi bahut sari theories hain goal setting theory hai self determination theory hai self efficacy theory hai these are also important leadership pad rahe hain path goal theory hai hershey blanchard situational theory hai fiedler contingency theory hai ye bhi bahut bahut important hai फाइनेंस में आई वुड से टाइम वैल्यू ऑफ मनी म्यूचुअल फंड देन रेशियोज इनकम स्टेटमेंट बैलेंस शीट कैश फ्लो स्टेटमेंट दीज आर द फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट दिस इज द कोर ऑफ फाइनेंस आई वुड ऑलवेज टेल यू टू स्टडी दिस वॉट एवर एग्जाम इट इज वॉट एवर सिलेबस इट इज टी वी एम रेशियोज इनकम स्टेटमेंट बैलेंस शीट एंड कैश फ्लो स्टेटमेंट यू कैन नॉट लीव आउट दीज टॉपिक्स यू कैन नॉट कैन नॉट लीव आउट दीज टॉपिक्स then coming out to esi esi is mostly current affairs based right especially in objective but still i would say that read frbm finance commission disinvestment and economic reforms from esi also so as to make sure that no there are less surprises for you as compared to others right guys so that's it that's that's what i wanted to tell you because there have been lot of queries ke syllabus mein management ki sirf itni theories hai finance mein sirf ye topic hai should we do this only and leave everything else so my message is clear and loud first thing is priority to the syllabus but have some time right to do other things also at the end right if you like the video please subscribe to our youtube channel and in case you want some free content you can join our telegram channel 
uh, the link for which is given in the description of this video have a nice day guys bye bye